YouTube, what is going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, kick, punch, smash that like button so you know what I'm dropping. Another one of these things, and YouTube can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. As you can see, got a lot of shoes here. All right. So the question was asked: Hey, the Solution, what were you doing when you were on hiatus? Were you still copying kicks, or did you just stop buying? Them? I stopped for a while, then I jumped back in as I was making my comeback. But I've always had access to be able to get the sneakers. And some of these on here, if you paid attention to me, you've seen these before, but I never reviewed them. So on this stack of shoes right here are all the sneakers that I copped in the last three or so months or so, you know, three months, four months, whatever it was since I last did a review on the sneaker. You know, my last video was about lace swapping and some of those sneakers I think will appear in here and a lot of uh, steals and deals. So the first one I'm gonna get into is my most recent cop. It was a pair of man, something real simple. It says uh, $29.98 on here, but I actually got these for like $24 or something like that. And uh, shoe piles. Nothing crazy, just a pair of checkerboard joints that I wanted to throw in the collection. You know, a steal. This one right here, I never reviewed, but I talked about this sneaker because I really wanted it and this was a headache. This this sneaker actually wound up being free because they canceled the order, but the money came back to me, but the shoe showed up like a week or so later. I was like, what's, what's this? When checking my emails and everything, so it was canceled, but they still shipped the shoe out. And this was during the uh, peak of the problems when COVID was really, really affecting us as far as um, getting stuff in the mail. So of course you got the fire red fives. Um, who was it? Champs, Foot Locker, somebody. Shout out to y'all for actually um, messing this up and I got this shoe for the super low. Next up is by far, I think I need to do a, a just flat out video on the sneaker because this is the cheapest cop I ever got of a name brand sneaker, if you will. It doesn't get any lower than this. I believe this is a receipt. And this particular sneaker came out a long time ago on his first iteration. And uh, yeah, I, I paid um, $8.49 for this sneaker, y'all. But the Club C. The Club C right here with, no need to take out the shoe because it looks exactly the same. The Club C became a skateboarder's sneaker. And you see right here, it's actually got rad on it. Check that out, all right? So if you are from the 80s and you know about that slang term, rad, it means like awesome, super, far out, all that good stuff. And um, not a bad made sneaker, just um, one that was a little bit more um, uh, ostentatious, if you will, because it's got the, I hate to say it, the South Beach hits to it with that aqua green and that pink on the pull tab. And it just spoke to me, you got a little suede right there on the toe box and um, not bad materials. What will I wear with these? I don't know. I just thought it was crazy that um, I got these for under $9, you know, and this sneaker actually was retailing, I think like 70 or something like that at one point, but this was not the uh, club C I was going for. I was going for a pair of all sale with the green color and the letters in there and stuff, but he didn't have my size. He was like, oh, I got another pair back here for like $10. It's a nine and a half. I was like, get out of here. So he went back and he brought this out. Yeah, um, forgot all about this one. This sneaker had released a long time ago. I want to say sometime last year and it magically reappeared in the base exchange um, a while ago. And I went back and I saw it, got it for the low. It was a sneaker I wasn't okay with paying for retail with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's a, you know, the Seattle joint. I got the Orlando colorway as well but will i wear these we get around to it but you know nice nice cop to throw on there another sneaker that gave me a headache during the pandemic and um it's one of the reasons why i haven't worn it because as a matter of fact i'm just i'm getting annoyed looking at this shoe this shoe took over a month and a half to get to me and it, it wound up being a massive gr and i think what happened it was so many cancellations and things like that and the problems with this shoe that um, people just kind of gave up with it and they just kept restocking it and you could find these like forever. Um, I doubt if they go on sale because what they symbolize 
not sure if you was a quick strike or not because I ordered them online and um, I was being frivolous. I, I love black and gold sneakers. I have quite a few black and gold sneakers, but um, I'm not a big fan of the new buck on the sixes because we know what's going to happen eventually with these. But yeah, get to wear these. This is from way back in early April or something like that. Man. I ordered these before everything went down and it, it just took so long for um, these to get to. Me. So I was severely annoyed about that sneaker that at the time I, I was like, man, forget it. I'm not even reviewing it. The, the hype and the desire to see my point of view of the sneaker is already gone. So whatever. Next up, I did show this sneaker. I did, I did a live cop with these um, on my way to work one morning. Um, I had to detour and head out and get these, but I really wanted these and it became something like a limited uh, general release. It got caught up in the whole you know, online or the stores open and stuff like that. And people were saying, oh, you know, posting, you know, it's a general release. They didn't sell out all that stuff. But what happened was the, the stores that were able to open, they wind up getting the surplus of the ones that weren't selling online. So this shoe actually hit a finish line outlet store because they had to move the shoe. You know, orders are being canceled. People gave up on them. And it's, it's a dope sneaker, obviously. You know the Jordan 4 metallic core purple joints. Y'all know I love Jordan 4s. Um, great qualities on these, man. But I had to have these. And um, one of my biggest knocks, so it, this sneaker was unique. So if you look, remember the live cop, y'all. My box was actually sealed, and I got these from City Gear. It was sealed. They actually were putting the sticker over it. So I was the first person to touch this sneaker. I might have showed these. I can't remember. I got these a long time ago. I, I think I got these in 2019 and I, I don't know. Um, they came out and I was like, mm, whatever. I love white and purple, obviously. And they're saying the Lakers colorway, but you only have that yellow underneath there. It wasn't enough to really push the Lakers colorway right there. But I do love purple and white. So I wind up getting them for the low. One of my last coupons, as y'all can see. 152, but I think I paid like 130. Yeah, I paid 132 with the coupon. I'm trying to remember, I think I got these towards the end of 2019, and I don't think I ever reviewed those. But a cool sneaker, it's purple and white, had to have them. The uh, 270 React Craze, they came out with the Bauhaus and a couple other uh, hype colorways, and it died down. I actually got this particular sneaker for like $40, I think, on the clearance rack at finish line. And I've already worn these once. It's a very unique fit. Uh, those of you who have the sneaker, you you will concur. It's a, a love-hate kind of sneaker. It's either really comfortable or you're like, ah, I don't know if I can wear these all day because your, your foot is kind of like this. And that's my only complaint, but I do love this colorway. Very, very dope very colorful um i've been moving towards a lot of multi-colored sneakers um in my collection I, I really like that it makes it pop um what do we have here yeah the uh royals okay <laughs> the uh you know royal toes if you will i've already worn these as you can see one of my favorite cops it was a delayed w right here i i, I love this sneaker it's, it's pretty cool I've worn it several times already. I have not done a lace swap on them. Um, I probably will really soon. Probably put white in here or royal blue just to make it come out a little more. But um, not not like the bread toe quality, but it's good. It's good quality. It's not bad. Um, you know, you can see right there. I got a little crease right there in the, in the toe box. But we don't really care about that when it comes out of Jordan 1s. I was playing around one morning with finish line i've hit on finish line and uh city hibbit, hibbit city gear inhibit more than any you know raffle ever and those are two that people never hit on but i've been really lucky with finish line um for a while now i haven't been lucky but i haven't been really pushing to get anything um release wise so you got the finish line bag right there and these are the hairs you already see that um a lot of hype, then people just kind of went away from it. But it's a cool sneaker. And of course the hate came along with people that missed out on it. Like, well, I got the Sevens, I'm good. And uh, well, I got the Marvin, the Martians, I'm good. I don't care. 
but it, this was a cool sneaker. Um, looking at that sole, and there's a light right here, it's more of a, uh, what are they calling this? Uh, they don't even mention it. It's more of like a, a fuchsia than anything. It's a very unique kind of pinkish tint. And um, I like that. I'm, I, I like pinks of pink and stuff like that. My daughter hates for me to wear pink. She doesn't think it's manly enough. But I told her like, hey, men, men wear pink too. You know, she just doesn't care for pink. That's the thing. She doesn't really care for pink. That's not a thing. She wants purple. But this sneaker has been chilling on my shelf for a long, long time. Um, I think I got these April, May, something like that. Maybe I got the receipt in the bag over there. I remember when I went and copied these. Yeah. I don't know what I did with the receipt. But clearly I was not taking these back. Um, what happened with these? These got delayed quite a bit. They, they were calling me, updating me. You know, it was like, all right, come pick them up on Thursday. Come pick them up next Wednesday. It, it got crazy. Um, so I, I, I guess with the shipping and getting the shoe out to everybody, it became a problem. I think that's why I really wanted them after that. Because of the delay, I was going to just like, nah, forget it. Take me out of it. But then I changed my mind. I was like, hey, it's, it's worth the hassle. I'll get them. I like sixes. Something in collection. Now, getting up to some of my more recent cops. Um, what are these? Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Y'all know I lace swap these. These look a trillion times better now i've been seeing people post videos of this sneaker and outlets and you know you, you got the purists out here and the purists I, I get it you're like the keepers of history and all that good stuff and essentially i should be a purist because i was around when these sneakers first um were released you know i was i'm, I'm old enough to experience that okay so everybody wanted like, well, they should just release the metallics, all right? They should just release the grapes. Why they do this? This wasn't necessary. You know, the what the fives. But in its essence, it's either you like it or you don't. It's something different. It was available. You can cop it. These are still floating around a lot of places. And um, they, there was videos, outlet videos saying, you know, these hit outlets and all that stuff. Well, obviously, people get shoes. This is how you, you wind up seeing... Um, somewhat hyped sneakers or limited sneakers and outlets. People get the shoe, they get it in hand, there's two factors here. They realize, oh, it's not quite what I thought it was, so they send it back. The other one is really number one, is they realize that there's no demand on the sneaker and they can't really make any money off of it, so they send it back and get a refund. The third part is that, you know, they were just being frivolous, all right? That's it. So that's why you see certain sneakers pop up on there because namely it's the resale value isn't there and that's just the way of the culture. I'm not gonna beat you over the head about my um, theories and ideologies about resale. It's, it's there for a reason, all right? Y'all know, love-hate relationship. It's This is like a 50-50 sneaker. People have talked down on the sneaker. People have been excited about the sneaker. I love purple. I said no, I wasn't going for them. And this sneaker was pretty unique because I was out um, shopping with my daughter and we were in the mall. And we were in what we call the dead mall here in San Antonio. And we had already walked past the Foot Locker. Didn't go in or nothing, went to the store she was going to. We came back and I looked. And at the bottom of the window, the shoe was there. And I was like, man, they got those? All right, went in, asked him. <clears throat> I said, hey, do you have these? And he's like, do you have, a, I asked him, I said, you got nine, nine and a half? He's like, yeah, we got both. I was kind of shocked that we did a, uh, well, we got a, um, a restock on those. He said, because we didn't get them before and they came to us for some reason. Now, a lot of standalone foot lockers don't really get hyped stuff all the time unless they're known for good sales. They're basically proving themselves. Well, anyway, um, these were in there. I was like, mm, yeah, I'll get them. I'll get them. Um, of course, I got the discount on and all that good stuff. But really what it is with this sneaker, it's this deep purple. Um, depending on your taste and fashion and how you want to style it, this is going to be a hard shoe to style for some people. You know, 
channel. So that's that. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things and you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks. Yay. Boom. Herp. You probably look in this hoodie. Shout out to my man, uh, Damon. We went to high school together. He has a uh, screen printing company that he does on his own. I'll put the information down at the bottom if you're interested. Um, shout out to everybody that's doing that. But it comes down to price. And I would love to support you. But if your pricing can't beat somebody else that I know, I'm going to go with that person. All right? Especially on a personal level. All right. So um, my dude, Damon, you know, we graduated together, we went to high school together. He came up with this. If you're wondering, yes, I'm old. That's actually my, the year I graduated. I'm old enough to be a lot of your dads. All right. Or older brother or uncle. All right. But I'm out of here. Boom.